In this video, we'll use the travel demo to take a look at some of the key features of Magnolia. Multiple sites with content reuse across the sites, personalization, and marketing tags. Content should not be entered multiple times. It should be entered and maintained in one location and used throughout the website or in external apps, widgets, or feeds. The travel demo illustrates how this can easily be accomplished using content apps to store tours. A tour is stored in one location, but its information is used throughout the site from the home page, the category overviews, to the tour pages. So let's change the Swiss Alps tour. Give it a more straightforward name. Now if we look at the website, the carousel is updated. Okay, the card is updated. And if we go to the tour, the tour itself is updated. We only changed the content in one place. It was updated throughout the website. One Magnolia instance can host multiple websites, allowing them to share configuration, resources, and content. This is useful in a variety of situations from campaigns and landing pages to managing the websites of all of the departments, branches, or subsidiaries in your organization. This feature is often used to simplify and consolidate the management of the many websites a company can grow over time. The travel demo includes the simple sports station website which demonstrates sharing web resources, components, and tour content across websites. To view Sports Station site, open pages, you've seen the travel website, here's the Sports Station website. It's very simple, just three pages. Let's take a look at it. The same tour content is used, but only the tours in the active tour type are included. You can see that the style is very similar to Magnolia Travels. That's because it uses the same web resources. And notice, here's the title that we changed. It's also changed in the Sports Station site. Magnolia websites can be personalized for their visitors based on visitor traits such as location, registration status, or information shared via a social network. The travel demo illustrates this with three variants of the homepage, which each have different tours shown in their carousel depending on the location trait of the visitor. In the Pages app, the variance indicator shows us that the page has variants, and we can see the three variants here. So these are three different versions of the home page that will be served to different visitors. These three apps assist with personalization. First, let's take a look at how visitor segmentation is set up. Segments allow us to easily choose how we want to divide or segment our site audience to route them to different variations of our web pages. Magnolia comes with some sample segments. If we look at the America segment, it has three country traits, and you could add more, such as a visitor trait. So a segment is a collection of traits. Next, let's take a look at the Personas app, which lets us create some sample typical users to help us test how our site will look to our visitors. For example, Jaden Harris, user from the US, has the trait country United States. And we could add more. For example, Sarah Byrne is a registered user from the US, so she has that additional registered trait. Now let's take a look at the configured variations. Back to the Pages app. On each of the variations of this page, we have an additional action choose audience. Here I can figure which users will see this variation. Segments make this easy. Or I could just add traits ad hoc as well. 
Okay, now let's see how all this works together. We can edit any of the variations, and in the editor, I can switch between the three different variations. If I preview, I can get to the third app, Preview as Visitor, and here I can choose any of the personas that have been configured. For example, if I choose Jaden Harris, the visitor from America, then I see the variation of the page with the three tours which are most relevant to him. With Magnolia, marketing teams can manage the marketing tool integrations on their websites without a code change or even the assistance of a developer. The Marketing Tags app allows you to add snippets of HTML or JavaScript code to all or any set of pages on your website to integrate with marketing services like Clicky or Google Analytics. I'll edit the Clicky for travel demo. And we can see a configured dashboard URL which maps to the service. Um, I will make this active on the author. And I can position where I want the tag to be inserted on my page. Of course, I can add the marketing tag itself. And here's where I can configure on which pages the tag should be applied. And if I double click, I can click to open the service in a new tab. But let's take a look at this on the website. So this one actually even displays a widget so we can see that it's active. And if we view the page source, and here we can see the clicky JavaScript that we configured on our web page. And this concludes our tour of some of the key Magnolia features.